Hi, this is Tony Self with Harcourt Center Mason Realty, bringing you some tips. So I like to call the five Zoom etiquette tips for an awesome Zoom meeting. So I've been to hundreds of Zoom meetings and you start to learn little things that you should or should not do. Now, a lot of people in the corporate world that have used Zoom, they've picked up on this and they will tend to help others understand what they should or should not do. But for those who have never used Zoom before, um, this will help you kind of get a great experience with those around you and also not be that that person who is uh, being a bit annoying to others. So now tip number one is that uh, Zoom has two different formats. One is what we call a group format, and that group format is the one that a lot of people are using right now. And that group format allows you to talk, mute yourself, unmute yourself, that kind of thing. And another format is a webinar format from Zoom, usually used for presenters. Now, the way you can tell the difference is that the Zoom format will have a raise hand function. So that typically is used where you mute everybody, you really can't talk, um, people don't like that. And it also, it doesn't add to the socialness of having a virtual meeting, but at the same time, as if you've been on some of these meetings, that socialness can be a bit annoying as well. Now, tip number two is to pre-install Zoom. Now, Zoom works on multiple devices. It'll work on your iPhone, your Android, your laptop, Mac, Windows, you name it. Uh, what I recommend, just like with anything else that's, else that's new in technology, is to actually install it first. You can set up an account if you want to. Now, you don't need to have a Zoom account to participate, but it doesn't cost anything, and why not? That way you can get your name on there. And remember, your name will show, so don't put anything that's um, a bit questionable, like especially if you're using it for business. So that's, uh, that's tip number two. Now, tip number three is the biggest etiquette tip for everything. If you, do you get anything else from this video, this is the one thing that I really, really would rec recommend you focus on. Know how to mute yourself. It is amazing. Um, I've seen people fumble, they don't know how to mute. Now, here's the mute button for Zoom, just over here down below. Um, also, you can mute your phone itself. Now, uh, with Zoom, you can use a computer audio. When you use a computer audio, you'll have to use the actual application to mute yourself. Now, some uh, headsets will have a mute button, most do not. Uh, if you call in, because you can also call using a phone, Use your mute button on your phone. It's simple to find. Uh, here's a quick way to go there. You just hit your mute button on your phone. Um, also, if some hosts who are know what they're doing, they will mute you, and then you will have to know how to unmute yourself as well. So that's the one too for the biggest tip at all. Biggest uh, tip four is use your video. The whole thing about Zoom is to actually see one another. A lot of people can are a little kind of weird about video, that type of thing. But you know, use your video and kind of show yourself. Um, position yourself where you're, you know, in front of lights. So the light actually shows you a bit. Um, that kind of thing. So don't be scared about it. You know, that gives you a reason to get all dressed up and that kind of thing. So do be adventurous and use your, your video. And tip number five is don't be distracting. So another topic thing too is now you're in your computer and it's very common. All of a sudden you hear people start clum, clum, just typing on their computer because it's actually your emails aside from the other video. I can't tell you how many times that's happened. Or a dog starts barking because you're at your home. Again, you can't control the noise and it's not a business environment or your business and all of a sudden a phone starts ringing. So knowing again, going back to tip number three, how to mute yourself will really help a great meeting for all the participants. Because what happens is when you're in this environment, you will start to pop up. And if someone's making a conversation or trying to make a point, it interrupts them. And everybody else is now seeing you pop up all the time on the screen. So really the biggest, biggest tip is mute yourself. Uh, don't be distracting. Uh, if you're going to start typing that type of thing, you can. Just make sure you mute yourself because... All of our devices have great uh, microphones and they will pick up everything. Kind of like going back to the uh, whole uh, Amazon thing too. They'll pick up everything. So this is Tony Self with Harcourt Center Mason Realty. Hoping that these Zoom tips will help you have a great environment to actually reach out to others. And I encourage you, use this platform to go out and talk to your clients, talk to your family, friends, have a social hour. It's a great, great tool and it's there for you to use. So hopefully you'll use that. If you have any questions, let me know. Pop me an email or give me a call. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.